السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين My beloved brothers and sisters Today almost everyone has a phone And almost everyone is on social media Some people say I'm not on social media I'm only on WhatsApp WhatsApp is also a part of social media no matter what it is, when we use our phones, we should be responsible. Allah Almighty wants us to be from among those who can earn Jannah through whatever He has put in our hands. Whatever He has made accessible to us, He truly and really wants us to earn Jannah through those things. So if you have something in your hands, something that you have access to, then you should use that particular thing to get paradise. You should ask Allah Almighty to grant you the ability to make the best use of it whilst it is there. So my beloved brothers and sisters, one of the most important things is we spend time. Time. Time is one of the most important things. We should not be wasting time. Unfortunately, with today's world and the way things go, we find ourselves, myself included, spending time on our phones. At times it is productive. At times it is not productive, not destructive. And at times it is actually destructive. So today, I'd like to speak about how we can earn paradise through social media. As simple as this, how to earn paradise through social media, how to clock maximum revenue in the eyes of Allah through social media. So here goes. As you are flicking, this is, this is before we speak about creating content that is beneficial. Before that, someone who's just opened an account, whatever it may be, maybe Instagram, maybe YouTube, maybe Facebook, maybe TikTok, maybe whatever else it may be. You need to know, as you are scrolling, when you see something that is harmful, when you see something that is displeasing to Allah Almighty, make sure that you immediately flick on. You move on from there. You don't waste your time. You don't look at it for more than the minimum which was required in order to just glance at it and you immediately flick through. You keep going. You move. If it is a page, you move the page. If it is something else, you move it. And you actually do not interact with it in any way. Nor do you spend time on it. Neither do you spend time on it. Nor do you comment or like or share or even put a negative or a thumbs down. Nothing. No interaction. The reason is the minute you interact or delay or you spend a little bit of time watching it immediately, the algorithms pick this up and your interaction will make your phone and the use of it understand that this is the type of content you are interested in so it begins to show you more of that so when you see something that is displeasing to the almighty something you're not supposed to be looking at the first thing you do is you move it you move away from that it's like lowering your gaze as soon as you saw something that was not beneficial something you were not supposed to look at lowered your gaze you looked away that's it. You could say Astaghfirullah, you could say La hawla wa la quwwata illa billah, and so on. That's good. If you see something that is very beneficial, be it worldly or to do with your faith, what I mean is something beneficial in terms of your studies, in terms of life hacks, in terms of some good gadgets you might have seen, something that is not harmful, it's beneficial. Beneficial for your deen or your dunya. You should like it. You should comment on it. And you should share it. Why? Because by doing that, not only will you get to see much more content compared to what you were. Much more good content because the algorithms pick up that you interacted with this goodness. But anyone who gets to see that and share it and like it and comment on it as a result of your interaction with the post you will clock a reward for that you definitely get a reward so if you see after that a million views on something that was beneficial 
because you interacted with it and you forwarded it and you liked it and commented, the algorithms have actually made it reach more people as a result of your interaction with it. So you get a full reward for everything that happened thereafter. You can actually smile at it and you're clocking reward. Subhanallah. Imagine you're getting a reward even after your death if you were to die. And people are sharing and continuing to share and like and comment. You get a full reward for it. It is a sadaqa jariya. It is a charity, the reward of which outlives you. Subhanallah. And if you are to leave it, you've wasted the time. Say, for example, you see something really beneficial and you appreciate it. Oh, mashallah and so on. And you left it at that. You didn't comment. You didn't like. You didn't share. You didn't interact with it. You didn't spend time watching it once or twice. Then the loss is yours because that is a heavenly reward. It is something that you would be able to see in the hereafter, which you didn't bother with it. So therefore, my brothers, my sisters, when you come across a beneficial post on social media, if you would like to clock a reward in the eyes of Allah and maximize, maximize the revenue in the eyes of Allah, you need to like it, to share it, and to comment. Subhanallah, that's it. What was it? Beneficial, I liked it, I shared it, I commented. Imagine if it were a religious post, something to do with your deen, something to do with tawbah and repentance, something to do with encouraging a person towards prayer, towards goodness, towards values and high morals and standards of Islam, towards Allah Almighty, preparation for death, preparation for the hereafter, some empowering, beautiful post or video. Imagine if that was the case and you liked it and you shared it and you reposted it and you commented on it and you might have done uh, what they call a duel with it, whatever. Subhanallah. Imagine the reward you would clock. And nowadays you can get a million views in a day. Subhanallah. If you know how to interact with these things, you know how to like, repost, post, comment, share for the right things. You get a beautiful reward. And it is so huge that if from those millions who have viewed it, if a few have changed even in the smallest way, you get a reward of the da'wah and the propagation and the goodness and their guidance and their prayer and their changing of their lives for the right reasons. It was Allah who guided them, but he used you to make it visible to them. Subhanallah. How? By interacting. So it's to do with the algorithms, the way it works. If you interact, the greater the interaction, the greater the reach. Why should we interact with that which is displeasing to Allah? Why should I earn a sin by commenting, even if it's a negative comment, meaning even if it is a positive comment to a negative post, such as astaghfirullah to some nudity, why should I do that? Because I'm, I'm actually letting my entire system know that these are the type of posts that attract me and make me comment. So it keeps on showing me more of those posts. And I'm wondering, this is so bad. I, for example, have a TikTok account, for example, very little on it, but it helps me when I am flicking through at times, you learn a lot of goodness. It's good to comment, to like, to say, to share. It's very good because it makes that more popular. And the, the suggestions that come to you are based on so many factors, your location, your likes, your dislikes, your comments no, and, 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 or no comments, your shares or lack of shares, your interactions with the post, how much time you spent watching it and so on. All of these factors are taken into consideration automatically in the background. Why should you earn a sin for what? Why should you post or interact with something displeasing to Allah? Do not do it. So even if you just want to say Astaghfirullah, my sister, or Astaghfirullah, my brother, leave it. You rather say the Astaghfirullah, but don't say anything. And if you want to, if you want to, a person you know, you want to give them good guidance, you may want to make your own post and maybe you might want to tag them or you might want to uh, comment if you really know them once in a while. It's okay if you think it's going to be beneficial. But Remember, the interactions that you have with your social media will make you or break you. And therefore, even on Instagram or Facebook, the minimum you can do, the minimum you can do to a good post is to like it, to comment and to share. When you've done that, you have actually now revolutionized everything and made it worthwhile for your hereafter. 
more people will see it as a result of your little action. I didn't waste my time on social media. I kept sharing good posts for one whole hour. I'm not saying do this, but I'm saying, I'm, I'm not saying spend so much time on it, but I'm saying if you are spending that much time on it, make sure that you're doing the right thing. You're interacting with the good posts for one whole hour. Only Allah knows while you are asleep before the morning, how many millions would have seen it? How many, for example, tens of thousands would have benefited? How many hundreds would have changed their lives as a result of this? You were just asleep. Before I slept, I was on TikTok for half an hour. I liked, I shared and I commented only on the really brilliant stuff. Be it Quran recital, be it a good reminder, be it a good nasheed, be it some encouraging words, be it some empowerment, whatever it was, goodness, I did it. As a result of that, what happened? Yes, mashallah, the people benefited and I earned my Jannah. On the day of judgment, every little deed will come and be put on the scale. And when your good deeds are heavier than the bad, you get Jannah. So you're using social media in order to earn Jannah to Firdaus. My brothers, my sisters, is that not a simple way of earning the pleasure of Allah? I'm talking of over and above your duties, your primary duties. Subhanallah. I'm not saying leave your salah and leave your zakah and leave your hajj and leave your fasting. No, we are talking about the way we use social media. I started off by saying we all have phones. We're all on social media, whether you like it or not. So why don't you convert your interactions into something that's going to take you to paradise? Why don't you convert your interactions into something that's going to be meaningful for you and everyone around you? Why don't you minimize your interactions with that which is harmful? But remember, don't ever let a good post pass without you liking, sharing, commenting, whatever maximum you can do, do it. If you can repost it and you have the permissions to do it or it's okay to do it on the platform you're using, please do it. Because you never know, you might post that once, twice and one of them might just go viral. That might be your ticket to Jannah. So good news to those who are influencing in the right direction. Good news to those who are trying in the right way. And even if you cannot create content, like I said at the beginning, I'm going to get to creation of content. If you cannot create content and you've only done the likes and the comments and the shares, you might get a reward equivalent to the creator of the content. And when we're talking of creator of content, we're only talking of someone who made a video, basically, who made some form of content. We're not talking of creator of the universe. That's Allah. You know, sometimes the word creator and the word follower we know them as Muslims. The creator of everything is Allah. And the one we follow is Nabi Muhammad But in the context of social media, it has a slightly different meaning. So we're not referring to the context, which is the higher context. We're referring to the current modern day social media context. When you say these are my followers, you don't mean that I'm a Nabi. Astaghfirullah. You don't mean that I'm a prophet or anything of that nature. What you mean is they're interested in what I do on social media. That's all. They may agree or disagree, disapprove. I know many people who don't like others, but they follow them just to know what's going on. Subhanallah. And the same way when you say content creator or creator of content, you're not talking of uh, the higher creator of everything. You're talking of making a video. Simple as that. It's the terminology that's used nowadays. But if you can and you have the means, make a video or two, create some content, do something that may, may be Allah's way of using you to change the lives of millions of people and you would get a reward for it. So if you can make a video encouraging your circles, your friends, those who may get to know, those who may not get to know, uh, meaning they, directly but indirectly, you should do so by the will of Allah. Subhanahu wa ta'ala. Create something beneficial, create something beautiful. When I say a video, you might want to take a video of nature and add to it something, a beautiful word or two. You might want to create something interesting for the people, throw in a good word of morals and values and goodness and teachings and pillars of Islam and repentance and how to turn to Allah and how to accept the shahada and what to do when you want to be, for example, a Muslim or when you want to turn to Allah Almighty or speak about your own journey or the journeys of others and you will get Jannah you will get Jannah by the mercy of Allah when he sees when Allah knows that you are now helping people reaching out to them using whatever is at your disposal whatever is at your disposal to actually encourage people to doing good that's when Allah gives you Jannah subhanallah so 
My time is up. My 15 minutes are up. But what I'd like to say, my brothers, my sisters, is please make sure that you use your social media to earn paradise by liking, sharing, and commenting on those posts that are beneficial in any way, shape, or form. Don't lose out. These are investment opportunities. This is revenue that is collected and gathered with Allah in its millions, billions, trillions, and quadrillions. And to be honest, if you do not do that, you are losing because we use social media anyway. So if I tell people, stop using your phone, stop on social media, no one's going to stop. Nobody's going to. More and more people are going to get on there. So remember, when it comes to bad things, don't interact with the bad things. When it comes to things that are neither good nor bad, it's up to you. But when it comes to something that is good and beneficial, be it religiously or be it for t in terms of uh, uh, dunya or worldly matters, please listen and listen to this piece of advice. Interact with it, spend time with it, like it, share it, comment on it, repost it, whatever you want to do. And Allah Almighty will do the rest. Subhanallah. May Allah Almighty help us in this current age to use technology in a way that is pleasing to him and to maximize on the benefit. People look at revenue from social media and they're all excited. How much does this one make and how much does that one make and how much can you make and how much I make and so on. People talk about all of that. For me, what's the most important thing is in the eyes of Allah, what have you made? What have you made? If you've made nothing in the eyes of Allah, change it today. Today, you can subscribe to the AdSense of the higher level, if you know what I'm talking about, where between you and Allah, you're going to clock a maximum amount of reward by the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So go for it. Learn that every time there is a good post, if you haven't created that content, you can just interact with it in the ways that I've shown you. What I meant is to like, to share, to comment, and perhaps to repost, and you're good to go. May Allah Almighty grant all of us forgiveness and Jannatul Firdaus. And may Allah Almighty bless every one of us. Aqulu qawli hadha. Wa sallallahu wa sallam wa baraka ala nabina Muhammad. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.